Hi, my name is Shane Rodarty for Shaka Studios, and we are going to show you how to put a king size pencil post bed together. And as you can see, are the parts behind me. So let's go over the parts. All right, as you can see, we have all our king bed parts, and we're going to start from right and go left. And what we have here is that we have our bed slats, and they're standard five bed slats to uh, a standard king size bed. You also have this middle piece that goes in the middle. You also have to the supports for the middle piece. As you can see over here how it sticks up. And that's actually going to be the other way around when we're done. We have two foot, uh, footboard posts. We have two headboard posts. We have two rails here. We have a foot rail. And then we headboard rail. We have the headboard. And I would really suggest when you unpack or get ready for the bed is that you really protect that headboard because it is the centerpiece and any uh, blemishes or scratches that accidentally happen as an assembly, uh, you want to put it in a place where it's not going to be damaged until the bed is actually going to be assembled. You also have two side uh, canopies, two uh, front and back canopies, and you have the middle canopies. Well, also you'll be included on this piece is that basically this customer uh, option for a, a button, but, uh, button bolt covers but you also can get uh, brass plated uh, bolt covers as well. Also what will be included is eight bolts. These bolts are basically a 5 sixteenths. You have two washers and you have one 5 sixteenths lock washer nylon. You also will need a half inch wrench, half inch socket, but today, I'm going to show you assembling. I'm going to use a cordless, which is going to speed things up with a little, uh, with a half inch socket on it. And if you have one of these, I suggest you use it because it speeds it up quite a bit. And what you want to do is lay all your parts out. And we are going to put the headboard together first, just to get that out of the way. And this is how you want to lay it on the floor of your bedroom. Uh, the assembly is this, is that they're marked A, B, C, and so on all the way around the bed. So all you have to do is literally just follow A, B, C, D, and you're okay. You, you'll put the get better, better bed together correctly. Get your hardware ready. And the first thing you want to do is you want to slide the headboard, if you can, into the slots. Take your bolt. Slide it in there, add your washer and your lock nut. Grab your wrench and your ratchet. Let's go around this end. Slip that in there and that goes in there. There we go. Then from here you want to grab it. It is good to have, an, have a partner when you're setting up a king size bed, but today I'm going to show you how to do it by yourself. Uh, you want to grab the bed, you want to grab this, and you want to stick it against the wall where the bed's going to go. And that way it will be safe. Then you want to stick your side rail right next to it, like so. You want to grab your hardware. You want to grab your hardware and your tools and put everything right next to it. And this takes a little bit of finesse, but if you got a buddy, then it shouldn't take that long. You line it up, you pick it up, and you slide it right in there. Kind of tilt it a little bit so it goes in there evenly. And there you, you'll see the bolt coming out. You grab your washer, and you grab your nut. 
But once you got it started, you got it in there, you kind of let go. And there you go. So it stiffens it up real nicely. Then you're ready to assemble the footboard. And one thing about the footboard, they're being labeled, but also keep in mind that the rail slot is lower than the foot rail slot. Stick that as close to there as you can. You see how it's just it's gonna line up real nice. And you take your bolt. What we want to do on this part is that we want to get our bolts and we want to take them and put them about halfway out. Keep the hardware close again. Halfway out, like so. Okay, next you want to get your bed rail. And what you want to do is take this and just kind of start it on the edge of the inside of the hole where the threads kind of catch. You want to pick it up and slide it. Like so. And if you got yourself a partner, they can easily be on that end and hold that for you. And there you go. It's starting to look like a bed. I'd very much recommend that before you put the bed slats in, that you put the canopy up on first. And what you want to do is that you want to take these pegs here and you just want to stick these in the top, just like that. All right, now that we have all our pegs done, inserted, we're going to want to put the canopy up. Now, the canopy, how it goes together is basically is that you do the two end pieces, the, far, that, the front one in the back, this one first, then you put the sides, then you put the middle. Uh, the two end pieces are the thicker of the, t of the two, and how you want to put them is that basically is that you want it to go like that. You don't want to put it like that. You want them to go like that first. Then you take your side pieces like so and like so. Then you take your two middle pieces, and your two middle pieces are going to be, again, the skinnier of this one. And they only go in one way, so. Okay. And, and there's your canopy. Looks pretty good. The bed slats on a king and queen will have a middle, middle support in it. And this is this middle support. Is that you want to put these supports in there. It's like so. It's a solid hardwood, mostly made out of poplar, sometimes oak or maple. You'll need a screwdriver. And also, these screws here that go in here will be in here. So you have to back those up and uh, get those out of there. Now you'll have a slat here, and this slat, as you can see, has a hole in it. And that is what you want to put at the far, by the headboard, and one by the footboard. Then all you do is you take this, your support brace, and you flip it up until those holes line up. 
Fit your screw in there. Get your screwdriver. Then it is just a matter of putting the rest of the slats in. There you have it, your king size bed. The last thing you want to do is that you want to put your boat covers on. If they're wooden boat covers, if you opted for the, the bed plate, the brass uh, uh, boat cover plate, then you won't have that just slides back and forth. But if you have opted for the buttons, and this is how you put the buttons on, you actually just kind of like set them in there. And uh, don't tamp them with a hammer straight on. It'll just it'll leave a mark and you, you may bust them too as well because they are also made out of wood. What you want to do is grab a rag, sit them on top, and kind of gently give them a hit, hit until they're all in there. And you're probably wondering, what's with these ropes here? Well, that's an option we have on our website. And the customer actually uh, decided she, she'd want that to give a little more uh, uh, look to it. She also wanted a custom color. And she sent us a color chip and asked us if we could do that as well. And we said, yeah, we can do that. So if you have any kind of specialties or stuff like that, just let us know. And I'm sure we can work something out or get it done for you. All right, that concludes the tutorial for putting a Shaker Studios pencil post bed together. As you can see, this will assembly will have, will, uh, you'll be able to put this together either using the queen or king. If you have a twin or full, really the only difference is, is the middle support. This is Shane Rodardi for Shaker Studios. And as you can see, it turned out to be a beautiful bed. And I have to disassemble it, ship it off, where the customer is anxious waiting for it. Remember, buy American, buy with eco-friendly materials, keep it simple, keep it real, and keep it honest. I'll see you next time.